Welcome back to my channel if you're new here welcome so today i'm going to be showing you how you can achieve this marie inspired makeup look from the new west side story remake starring rachel zegler i have been so excited to see the new west side story and thankfully i was able to go see it on opening night and it was so amazing <laughs> funny enough despite being a huge theater freak i had actually never seen west side story so i actually got to go see it with my mom on opening night and it was so beautiful from the music to the acting to the costumes everything about it was so amazing especially like the dancing you know it was a love that <laughs> but i was definitely inspired to do a makeup tutorial for maria because i love makeup and i love theater and so to be able to put those together for my youtube channel is definitely a huge passion of mine so if you guys are interested in seeing how you can turn yourself into maria from west side story then just keep watching Hey Spoops, so to get started I'm going to be taking my Buckle Bunny Beauty Sheer Perfection Primer and applying this all over my face before moving on to taking my Becca Under Eye Highlight and applying this under my eyes to help brighten them. I'm then going to be taking my Milani Supercharged Concealer in 120 Peach and I'm going to be applying this under my eyes as well and this is going to help add a little bit more warmth under my eyes and bring back some of those warm tones before going into my MAC Strobe Cream and applying this to my cheekbones. I'm then going to be taking my Rare Beauty Soft Pinch Liquid Blush in the color Peace and I'm going to be applying this to my cheeks before just blending that out with my fingers. This is going to help give a nice natural looking flush under our foundation. For my foundation, I'm going to be taking my Anastasia Beverly Hills Luminous Foundation in the color 220N and I'm going to be applying this all over my face with my IT Cosmetics Airbrush Blurring Foundation Brush. I'm then going to be taking my Buckle Bunny Beauty Cream to Powder Foundation in the color Mocha and I'm going to be using this as my cream contour so I'm going to be applying this to my cheekbones, my jawline, my forehead, and my nose before going ahead and blending that out to avoid any streaks. I'm then going to be taking my ColourPop No Filter Concealer in number 10 and I'm going to be applying this under my eyes and to my forehead and chin before going ahead and blending that out before setting my face with my Airspun Translucent Powder. For my contour, I'm going to be taking my KVD Beauty Shade and Light Contour Palette, taking this color and I'm going to be applying this to my cheekbones and softly blending that upwards before also applying that to my temples and forehead and also my jawline as well. I'm then going to be bronzing up my face with my Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer to help add a little bit more warmth to my forehead and my cheekbones before going back into my KVD palette, taking this banana color and I'm going to be applying this under my eyes and to my forehead and chin to help brighten that. For my blush, I'm going to be taking my ColourPop Mulan Good Luck Charm Blush and applying this to the apples of my cheeks, blending this up my cheekbones and applying this to my forehead as well, before moving on to brows where I'm going to be starting off by taking my NYX Micro Brow Pencil in the color Espresso and then just going ahead and lightly filling in my eyebrows. I'm then going to be going ahead and lightly brushing this out with the spoolie end of the pencil before going into my Buckle Bunny Beauty Loretto Brow Wow Pomade and filling in the arch of my brow just to help darken it a little bit more and then finally setting them with my Benefit Cosmetics 24 Hour Brow Setter. For my highlight, I'm going to be taking my Revlon Skin Lights Prismatic Highlighter and applying this to my cheekbones before we move on to eyeshadow where I'm going to be starting off by taking my Smashbox 24 Hour Photo Finish Primer and applying this on my eyelids. I'm then going to be taking my ColourPop Disney Designer Collection It's a Princess Thing Palette taking Triton and I'm going to be starting off by applying this to the outer corner of my eyes and then softly blending that inwards and then you also want to go ahead and blend this down to your lower lash line as well before taking a clean fluffy brush and just blending out the edges. I'm then going to be taking my Revlon Prismatic Highlighter once again and I'm going to be applying this onto my eyelid and then also applying this to my brow bone and also using it to highlight the inner corner of my eye as well. 
I'm then going to be taking Beast and I'm going to be using this to help add some more dimension to this eyeshadow look. So I'm going to be lightly applying it to the outer corner of my eyes and then bringing this down to my lower lash line before taking my KVD Beauty Tattoo Liner in Mad Max Brown and just lightly lining my upper lash line. Next, I'm going to be prepping my eyelashes by curling them before going into my Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara and just sweeping this through my upper and my lower eyelashes. For my lips, I'm going to be starting off by taking my ColourPop Disney Hocus Pocus Come We Fly Lip Pencil and applying this to the outer edges of my lips before going into my ColourPop Luxe Liquid Lip in Strong Chi. I'm going to be applying this all over my lips to give that nice bright red tone and also have the long lasting effects as well. For my eyelashes, I wanted to do something natural but still glam, so I'm going to be taking my Kiss Number 11 False Eyelashes and just applying this to my lash line. If you want it to be a little bit more movie accurate, she doesn't really look like she's wearing any false eyelashes in the movie. However, you can use individual lashes to give a little bit more of a natural glam effect as well. And last but not least, I'm going to be setting my face with my One Size Beauty On Till Dawn Setting Mist. And that is my completed Maria makeup tutorial from West Side Story. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed it. Leave a comment down below if you'd like to see next. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more of my videos. Also, if you haven't already, please consider supporting me on Patreon. You can support me for as little as a dollar a month and receive all exclusive behind the scenes sneak peeks of upcoming makeup tutorials and tips and tricks before anybody else. And it really does help support me and my channel. But once again, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye!